you can see how quickly those storms came in. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley live in Willow Springs. And Colleen, reports of a possible tornado there. So tell us what you're seeing. Well, Angela, the rain is still coming down here in the Spruce Meadows neighborhood of Holly Springs. I'm told this entire neighborhood without power. I want to show you what we're seeing. So there's a lot of debris like this in this neighborhood. And here's why, Angela and Marius, check that out. That's a part of the fence. And then if we can walk over this way, you see every single one of the fences in this yard and the yard behind us completely blown out. We talked with a neighbor who was walking around kind of checking out what his home, what his neighbor's houses looked like. He said, fortunately, no one major damage to any of the houses, but we've got basketball hoops upside down. One man said his grill was thrown across his yard. Mailbox is knocked over. He said the damage here makes him think there was a strong storm that came through. Again, a possible tornado not confirmed, but listen to him as he describes what he saw in his backyard. Maybe a tornado or just some sort of strong storm came through here. I think a tornado had to have come through here because of how bad the damage is. It's worse than it was when we had the hurricane. Really? Yes. Um, what? And describe to me some of the things you're seeing. And you said what? You don't? You guys don't have what power? No, we don't have power either. Power has been out for probably two hours now. Okay, so we're back live now in the neighborhood, and right now we're focusing in on some treetops that are behind us, and you can see the way the trees have snapped. Now, when we've covered strong storms, you see this sometimes with a tornado, just strong straight line winds. So again, possible tornado not confirmed yet, but this is a little bit of what we're seeing in this neighborhood. So Angela Marius, we're going to continue talking to people out here and trying to get a feel for what they went through earlier this afternoon. Uh, so reporting live in Willow Springs for now, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News. Call